Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode here in Passy. Just get it's absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for joining us. Today, we are recording an episode of Made in Japan, a game that has actually been fired from the PlayStation servers on the Asian networks, either Hong Kong or Japan or, I suppose, Thailand or any of the other ones that I actually have access to. And this is a free-to-play game that was available and I haven't tried yet. And, well, that's exactly what I expected to see as soon as I started the game up. <laughs> I'm assuming this is actually going to be a visual novel. I thought it might have been a car collecting kind of like online game, but it looks like this is going to be a visual novel style one uh, where the whole point is to get a chick glimpse of that lady's boobs. Hit me! Yay, intros! I do love intros! Gonna get so easily claimed and never be able to ever show this video in Japan. Give me no hit to me. Ni hit me. Boom, 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 boom. I'm liking this modern style of uh, visual novel though. It's a little bit more animated. Uh, it's the way I wanted to be seeing them now rather than actually the more static ones we've had in the past. Oh, this looks so adorable! Ha! Are they all Hitomis? Oh, so for the first thought it's actually like two of the characters had the same last name or same first names. Oh, slice of life high school drama, here we come! What, demon hordes? Woo! Well done to Yo-Yo. And all the side characters get there one moment. <laughs> Why the hell not? That's the beginning of every single college like set, uh, like comedy from the late '90s to mid 2000s. Like that, that's actually like the opening screen music. Cause like kid gets up inside his college dorm room music. All right, let's see what let's see what this has to present for us. Um, I'm pretty sure this is a visual novel, so I'm looking forward to actually scanning through this as fast as I can and misconstruing every single last word said. Oh, a voice from beyond. How terrifying. Yeah, move it on. Move it on. Move it on. <laughs> and the number of the beast, huh? Do you have the tattoo? If you don't have the tattoo, you ain't ready for the jelly. Oh, so you really aren't ready for this jelly. Oh well, time to die. <laughs> oh, come on! Burn it through the script! Alright. Oh, no, no, no. We didn't want that. We just want to do this. My god! It's full of boobs! And a kip. Huh. Didn't really think that's actually going to be standard for school uniforms until, like, literally. J.K. Rowling owns the entire educational system. <laughs> and immediately drawn out of her memory and her thoughts with her little bat wing hair, uh, hair, lo hair loopies? Bat wing hair loopies? Is that what they're like? Well, hair clips is the best way you can describe it. Oh, she's all embarrassed now. So, back to reality. Whoop, there goes gravity. I'm gonna keep moving on here. Uh, accelerating at a faster pace. Go on. Let's skip the dialogues and let's see what the actual kind of like the 
storyline to see actually how it's animated. And that's, that's what we always say. I mean, like where the characters have like idling animations while you're reading the dialogue. There was a couple ones I've seen there recently, and I did them a while back now, wait, what, nearly two, three months ago. That really impressed me, the fact that like, I could sit down and enjoy any modern visual novel that was done that way. You know, this old school where it's actually just static images? Uh, I'm kind of I'm over this, you know? I've been, been enjoying these for years, and I understand the formula of doing so, but I, I, want, I want there to be a little bit more, mo like, like that! Just let the characters dip, let them move, let their eyes open, let them do shit in the middle of the conversation. No. Too you upset about things? Uh, I'm sure you're frustrated, um, annoyed that they stand there. You got a very weird kind of like. I don't suppose it's actually flat palms on hat. So it's kind of one of respect for things. That's actually. Every time that's a dip, that's actually a bow. Uh, I've got it. I think I got it. She's excited, she's happy, she's not. And then she's angry. And she escapes! Damn it, I didn't throw my Pokeball fast enough. Uh, I should have caught that one. So, it's been two years I've been in this school, and we've had the same club room the entire time. All these fun times we had, especially whenever we asked to try and get the classroom to start up in the first place. And then I was meeting these girls. They were all very interesting and weird. Obviously, there's going to be a long, dramatic story involving us all, but... Maybe it's better for me to tell you the story in long form. This is the story of how I met your mom. <laughs> it's like, how I met your mother it feels like an archetype, the, the, the story style that actually like fits for these kind of like games. Mm. Everything should be an episode like, ah, do you know that? Hey kids, let me tell you at the time I fucked your aunt. <laughs> or made the teacher extremely uncomfortable during conversations. Oh god, god. yeah, yeah. Let's accelerate! Oh, the, the girl is actually pay attention to her boobs. Oh my god, she's happy about it. She's sad about it. She's frustrated about it. She's curious. She wants to ask a question. She wants to know a little bit more. Oh, she's actually upset about it now. School started. Time to move on. And are we going to stand and have a conversation? Is this the new girl in the class? No, this is obviously somebody you know. Oh my, she actually is just having a quick conversation. She thinks you have to say something. Come on. Come on! Trying to get the passage of time as fast as possible. Hey, pink haired protagonist girl! You look extremely excited! Oh my god! God damn! How do you keep your balance? Yes, yes, class president! Exactly what you said! Anything you say! Obviously, yes. Uh, I, I, I'm just assuming. I'm going to assume class president. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, why can't I just skip all of this so quick? There were some ones that actually had a fast forward button. What happened? Hey, did I manage to skip the whole thing? Did I shut the whole thing down? Did I start back to the menu? Damn it! Started the scene again. Eh, escaping her evil will, I just take a wander back to the room. Where I stand there and look, and she comes in kind of like getting over herself and then stopping like a weird person and getting off her whole kind of like, I'm a dark princess. Finish. And then she made to go straight back to the end. But the assistants of others to try and catch her out of it. So yeah, a guy has uh, surrounded by his female schoolmates, and they all have a reason to talk to him. I, I you know, yeah, I, I, I'd be tempted to actually play this to the end, but no, no. Uh, what was this called again? Ah, damn it. Oh, well, I'm trying to get back to the main menu to actually do that. No, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. Is that what I wanted? Yeah, that's what I wanted. Yes, back to the title screen. Yes, I don't care. <laughs> No! I didn't want to save! Ah, damn it. That was Kimi no Hitomi Ni Hit Me. Uh, available on the 22nd of February 2018 in everywhere but here, obviously.
But um, yeah, another visual novel, another game made in Japan, another game with a bunch of schoolgirls fawning over a male protagonist, and well, I mean, what? What are you gonna ask for, man? Kind of like a good solid 99% of the genre. But you can still see that there's actually games that are playing with the same old style. Like I, the, the ones that I showed you previously that actually had uh, three full CG characters that actually kind of animated themselves and interacted with each other and talked. And you actually did still play a visual novel, but it felt as if the, there was a been a move forward from the same old static images, illustrations that you could probably almost enjoy as a manga. In fact, it would be there'd be more. I think there would actually be more intense work in the character animation and design in a manga than there would be in a majority of these, uh, rather than actually being like the same five or six CG images and then the other ones that you unlock later on. So guys, if you actually enjoyed watching this, seeing other uh, games you might be not really prone to seeing style-wise from your uh, normal shooty bang bangs and your Tomb Raiders and whatever else, then welcome to the mad world of Made in Japan. We do have a number of episodes on this series. We have a number of games that actually have shown up on this that have never shown up in UK shores and some that have actually ended up showing up in slightly different forms. Feel free to check out the list. There actually will be on screen now though as a playlist and the most recent episode on the channel on screen as well as an episode just for you based on the user analytics and the things that you do on YouTube and the fact that you got here in the first place. It'll pick someone else here on my channel that you will enjoy. So I highly recommend you check it out. And also do remember to always, always, always hit that subscribe button because I need you. I need your help so bad. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed yourself and I will see all you dudes in the next Rogue Visual Novel. <laughs> Bye.